Guys, I just want to show you how to record a DJ mix with Bitwig Studio. Uh, the question is why I would do that. Um, let's say, for example, we want um, to record our mix with 69 kilohertz and uh, it's giving you better quality over there. And um, yeah, so uh, what you do is just add an audio track and uh, look that you have uh, a coming input signal and um, that's for example uh, just looking uh, that you have uh, made the right settings i'm sorry um, so uh, having your input device of your uh, sound card plugged to your dj mixer right <laughs> that's that's all and the cool thing is if you have that controller here i would um, at first suggest for you just to mute the channel and uh, arm the track for recording and that means um, if i press into this area here it will automatically start to record and another cool thing is that you can see the waveform so let's start the mix Another thing which you might uh, notice about um, mix your uh, record your mix not too loud, yeah. and uh, that's bringing me to another thing. Um, let me stop that. Okay, so um, now let's say you have uh, made your recording and and stuff, yeah, and um, I. You, you can then just take your clip, for example, go here over to range and then shift it over here, pen drag and drop. And just press this button and then, then you have it here if you demute it. What I have done, I already uh, recorded a, a longer mix, which you can see here. So, um, yeah, it's maybe, uh, ah, okay. Here it's very important that you have a look. Um, to the um, stretch mode and just take raw, which means that the that Bitwig will not do anything to your audio signal at all. And um, I should do this um, here for my other clip as well. And that ensures that um, you get the pure signal that you have uh, brought in. And um, here in that case, you can see that I already recorded the mix kind of very loud. But if you're unsure, you can just um, make use of some analysis uh, tools like, for example, uh, the levels. I, I'm really uh, into this plugin even for uh, mixing or mastering. And it just shows you the most important values in, in, in my opinion. And um, I, if I do not explain every uh, value here, but loud has to do with loudness and dynamics. And of course, the peak means it, it should not be go over a specific level. And um, that brings me um, to another thing. So let's give it a little bit input signal. I, I take it a little bit down. Okay, so. Here is important uh, in, 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 in that thing that you keep a look for what, what you want to do. Yeah. So, for example, you can even put uh, the, the standards for broadcasting, mixing and, and, and stuff. Yeah. And um, what I often do, I just use uh, the club setting. And um, so that brings a little bit different calculation to your how, how the LU is um, uh, calculated and, and this is the value which is about the perceived uh, loudness yeah, and um, so you see that that plugin tells you if it's in fact too loud yeah. and um, if you have the possibility for example to monitor that in, in, in real time I would now take my mix down you know and um, 
so let's see if uh, that changes for example if i i found a plugin uh, there are several on the market uh, this is from hornet it's called auto gain and what this does it has different presets so let me again take the level down it has different presets um and um what it does it's like like the name says it, it um, tries to come up with a constant loudness level or gain level and there you can even um, make fine adjustments for um, your stereo panorama and so on but i just use that for, um, in, the, in the case um, i have you know silent passages and um, it, it, it does not make the sound immediately loud. It, it takes it makes it step by step over time a little bit. It's just like if you have the the gain on your DJ mixer and make it in, in small time a little bit louder. Yeah, and um, it, it adjusts uh, to a level which, which which you can measure and say, okay, I want to take the RMS for example here and or the peak value but uh, what you want to have is an, a constant rms the rms means so that it it's over a time window will calculate it what loudness you have so uh there you will come up with a more like it will sound more const constant in your ear yeah and um so the question is how ca can i come up with a good mix so if you ask me i i use this one and I have another one, which is the, the master desk. And um, let's go back. And this one, in my opinion, is really helpful because it shows you up with the dynamic range. And um, uh, you, you try to have the everything in the green area, right? And um, you, you can hear even if the production was has overdone it yeah you know? so most of the times the 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 productions are on the edge with the frequencies with the loudness and everything and uh, the the main aim for the productions is to keep everything loud because we want to make party in the club right and um, that's you have okay I have to stop here because you have to differentiate that to if you make a DJ set for a radio station because they have distinctive standards and um, you should take this into account that uh, your mix or does not have to be too loud yeah <laughs> that, that's all and um, you just need a tool which which shows you up uh, that you that you'd stay in that area and uh, what I show here now is like you can, this is a sherry on top thing. This is, a, as I said, it's a, a, a multiband compressor which um, uses internal, uh, even like special AR similar cal calculations to adjust the threshold of every band and um, tries to keep everything in that green area here. And um, yeah so what 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 i do is like most of the times i i try to record my mix um as i showed you i i look that it's not too loud because um if you're mixing with 69 kilohertz and and, and 24 bit it's not needed to have too much loudness because the the plugins that you use uh, using here give you then the loudness back and the better way is that you uh, raise your monitor, your DJ monitor up and, and just keep everything on a normal level. You will end up with much better results, in my opinion. Yeah. So I, I know that was a real rough, rough <laughs> take, take off journey here. Um, if you want to know more about that details, then just let me know. Yeah. Give me feedback. Bye.